Hello, welcome to session two of the 28 days of preparation for ecstatic remembrance and 28 days of temple practices. So yesterday we had a really powerful session and uh, I brought in the goddess Kali, who is this goddess that initiates us, that shakes up everything and returns us back to truth. And so some powerful energy has moved there because you recognize that you have to befriend this force of death and rebirth, regardless of how terrifying it may look like when everything in your life that seemed to be solid is just shaking up and you're just confronted in the deepest parts of yourself. So um, today I want to tap into the energy of ecstasy with you because so in this time that we are living right now I just was on the call inside of Sundari temple uh, during the program embodied wealth we had our final live call today and I just finished it with saying this that what we are facing right now collectively and the speed of the transformation that we are going through is unprecedented. There was never a time like this in human history. The things that would take decades in the past now happen in days. Does any one of you have this experience that it's like time is just accelerated? Things are just going really fast? That's exactly that. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. That is just there is a momentum of creation that we get to ride and we get to open to and say yes to instead of resisting and how this momentum of creation you know sometimes there may be a sense of like oh i really don't like it oh it's painful it hurts and yet you also can recognize the ecstasy that's the whole point of ecstatic remembrance this incredible event i am running in 27 days <laughs> ecstasy what is ecstasy ecstasy is not an exalted state of pleasure it's not like oh my gosh i'm so exciting it's the merging of pain and sorrow and pleasure it's the merging is the state where we Stop the division. That's where you remember that there is no good, no bad. It just is what is. And you get to experience everything in this unified field, in this unified experience of ecstatic aliveness. That it's together. The pain and the confusion and the frustration and the agony and the expansion and the insights and the liberation and the joy all of it it gets to be now in this very moment oftentimes you might think that well i have to work through my stuff i have to heal this and then i can show up for others and then i can he be a healer and then i can give something meaningful i have to sort out my thing and then this and it's like no i am overwhelmed right now that's why i cannot show up for my agreement or i am going through it and that's why i take it as a pass to be a bitch's bitch no you get to be it all at once you get to be so caring and so loving first of all to yourself that you embrace yourself no matter what and in that you also show up to others oh i feel like putting some lipstick on <laughs> so just <laughs> giving you a moment <laughs> to take a breath to see how you reason nice idea <laughs> So when we offer that to ourselves, it's like you offer grace to yourself. You offer permission to be a human to yourself. Yes, 
I'm allowed to be a human. Great news. <laughs> I don't need to be this perfect polished Barbie. And we are brainwashed since we are little. Look for perfection. Look at this Barbie. Look at how everyone is so obsessed with plastic surgery and, and all this specific kind of look that only then you feel good enough. And actually not even. You try to do all those things, you try to accumulate all those all that stuff, and then you still don't feel worthy. So, you know, it's like at some point in the human journey, we go through this phase of like, okay, this, like, I, I just want stuff, I just want stuff, I just want stuff. Or then, okay, the next stage is like, no, I want fulfillment. So let me fulfill myself, let me get things, let me get relationship, let me get this, let me get that, and then I will feel fulfilled. So I'm searching for fulfillment. And that seems to be kind of noble thing to do, right? It's like, okay, at least there's some meaning there. It's like you, you have a meaning. You're looking for fulfillment in life. But then there is a whole other stage in life where you recognize fulfillment as a state of being in a state of no matter what. And you find a true fulfillment in being fulfilled already, in being divine already, in being in this merged state with all there is, in being in this merged state with divinity, this is where true fulfillment comes. Because in this state there is no separation, there is no right or wrong, good or bad, there is no, I have to get that in order to feel better about myself. There is no sense like, I'm not worthy, so let me become a bit more worthy. And I'll do this and that, I'll, I'll look better, I'll, I'll be wealthier, I'll be more productive, I'll be smarter, and then I'll be good enough. No, there is a sense of my fulfillment is in my merging with the divine. And there is such an intimacy right here in this merging. And it is right here. And this is ecstatic remembrance ecstatic remembrance you remember that which you've always been and it is so close to you it's incredible it's 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 essence you know what what is this word essence it's the very essence of your being the essence the essential essential thing that can never be taken away and as you remember it you experience yourself as ecstatic because you see that there's nowhere to look for it. <laughs> that your pain is not keeping you away from it. And that you feeling like you are not even able to relate to people all around you, that you've outgrown everyone who is around you. Also this is not keeping you away from it. And in that you just turn in. Yesterday, my team came together. We came together with the entire team for a preparation of ecstatic remembrance. So for those of you who don't know yet, it's this incredible event that I am running in Cascais in Portugal starting on May 2nd. And this event, I really feel like it's gonna be a, a culmination, a portal. And you know, generally Portugal is quite a portal, you know, like the name suggests. There'll be this portal, it's like whatever we are cooking right now, with all the eclipses, with all the ways how Kali is storming through your life, then when we come together at the same moment, because when we are together in person, and we come together with this pure, powerful intention, which I know my community holds. You, we come together like this, we come together as pillars of light, purified, open, available, trusting. We become so visible together. We become so conducive together and conducive to what to that divinity to that essence that we are so we open to that together and when we are many 
there is just so much more that lands because we are quite fragile you know individually the human body is fragile in the face of this extraordinary light of divinity that we are the human is like you know it needs to to train that's why sometimes when you have big openings then the body is like trying to catch up and the body may get into all sorts of stories and uh, emotional roller coasters or even accidents or even get sick because the body is trying to catch up with the speed of your soul and um, together as a team we are holding we already are holding the temple the temple is already starting to work on every participant so the sooner you join the the more you are being massaged already by the light of the temple so uh, the registration is wide open and you will find the link in my bio with all the details and also you can send me a dm if you have any questions my team is super happy to support you and to help you and so today we want to go into the practice of tapping into ecstasy. So let's do it together. Are you ready? Would you like to practice? So uh, inviting you to close your eyes so that you remove all distraction. It's like just the next five, seven minutes. It's just for you. It's for you to drop in into this moment. And you can place your hands on your body just to give yourself this extra comfort, extra connection to the now. And if there is a, a body part that has been hurting, you can place your hand on that body part. And another hand just somewhere on your belly or on your heart center. And just connecting to the discomfort that there may be there in that body part or any difficult feelings any difficult things that you just went through something that happened today something that happened this week something recurring in your life that you really feel like oh my god this thing just keeps appearing maybe you felt betrayed maybe you felt abandoned maybe you felt neglected or not belonging so connect to it Connect to it, open to it. You don't need to sweep it under the carpet anymore. Now is the time for you to give it a breath. And so connect. And it may feel unbearable. It may feel like, oh, I really don't like to feel it. But it's okay. You are held. Trust that you are held by the temple right now. And so breathe into that sensation. You want to see this emotion as a sensation. And you breathe into it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, really letting it reveal its color. If it had a color, what would it be? You breathe into that color. Exhale and relax your jaw with the exhale. Allow sound on the exhalation. Oh. Make a sound that feels true to you, that feels real to you. What if that sensation had a sound? What would it be? there's like a real growl maybe you want to roar or howl oh, or oh. whatever is there give it space so dropping into that sensation to that sound being really open here just opening to it 
And now start to notice how does it feel to give it space? Isn't there a sense of relief that you don't have to push it away anymore? Is there a sense of relaxation with that? You don't have to pretend not to have it anymore. You can just be with what is. Isn't there a sense of pleasure to actually give yourself the gift of feeling, of not trying anymore to fit into some perfect polished image, but just feeling, just being? Another deep breath, and with exhale again, finding a sound that this sensation has. And you may be surprised with the sound. So of course you may be in some place where you you don't feel comfortable to make sound, but even if it's just internally, make a sound and be surprised with what kind of sound comes for. Maybe some strange sounds start to come. Maybe something like that. So give it space. And then again, how good it feels to allow yourself to feel it, to express it, to give it space, to breathe into those things that may have been covered underneath shame and shame and shame that have, may have kept you in a state of freeze. So now, just acknowledging, how does it actually feel? And see how you don't have to choose that you actually get to be both. You get to allow this human experience, I do not need to label it as bad or as an as an experience that is undesirable. It just is an experience of life. And at the same time, there is this pleasure. There is also maybe a sense of belonging that we can even be here together and, and, and tap into those spaces. So notice how you're held and notice a pleasure in being held like that. How there is a sense of compassion and kindness in not being bashed by for feeling this way, being a certain way. But just being held and acknowledged in your humanity. Soften into this pleasure. Even though I feel all this frustration roaming through my body, I feel abandoned and I feel neglected and I feel confused and overwhelmed. I profoundly love and accept myself. Say that to yourself and feel the pleasure in this acceptance. I profoundly love and accept myself right now. Feel the relaxation in that. And now you're holding both. You are both. And maybe even now it goes more into the direction of like, oh, actually, that's okay, I'm okay. And then maybe the next moment, oh no, but there is this thing. And then you keep shifting your focus into both. And you actually get to choose which one to empower. But for now, we don't go there yet. We will explore that in further practices. But here is this ecstasy. Here it is. The ecstasy of being all. And there may be other sensations. You may be having some breakthroughs as you hear me speak. There may be a sense of, oh, I know that. Oh, yeah, thank you for the reminder. And there is a sense of an epiphany. And there is a sense of wonder. And there is a sense of, how can it be? Is it really that simple? C can I go deeper into this? All of that 
is right here. There might be tears, there might be laughter, there might be new emotions coming, and yet it's all here. And you are in all of it here now. This is ecstasy. So just give yourself a few more breaths here. Just a couple more breaths. It's all unfolding like roses. It's all existing in this miraculous existence. I am experiencing myself in so many ways right now. Yes, this is me. Yes, this is ecstasy of being alive. Yes, I'm saying yes to this ecstasy. Yes, I want to go more fully into it. Yes, I want to give myself permission to live fully, to experience myself fully. And then taking a breath and opening your eyes if you kept them closed and looking around your space, wherever you are, and seeing that also all of this is included into your ecstatic experience of aliveness. All of it is within you. All of it is part of you. You are here with it all. And this is ecstatic so see how you can sustain this state I'd love to know in the comments please let me know how far you let yourself go into it you can come back to this practice I recommend you to come back to this practice over the weekend next time I'm gonna go live will be on Monday when I will be actually likely at the venue of ecstatic remembrance it's pretty exciting i'm gonna go there and show you like what what we are planning to create there it's so beautiful so so gorgeous so until then come back to this practice come back to kali come back to this practice to really amplify how much you can feel of all the things without making them wrong and resting in the ecstasy of being shed some tears elizabeth says beautiful beautiful and the tears are beautiful and they get to be water for this earth and wherever these tears these tears that come from an open heart wherever they fall flowers blossom and that's beautiful i will confirm the time so you can sign up i will drop the link in my stories where you can sign up to be notified, to, to make sure that you receive an email whenever I, I'm announcing that I go live. But I'm gonna be changing some time zones and so on, so I, I'm not ready to commit yet to any particular time yet. But uh, we will be uh, uh, announcing that in the, in the newsletter that you will receive. So um, I will add, add the link now to my stories and you can sign up there. Okay, beautiful ones, thank you for being here. And I cannot wait to see you in 27 days. Uh, Ecstatic Remembrance link is in my bio. And also on Monday, the next preparation call.